Well, if you're looking for a way to dress up steaks and other meats, we've got a great idea for you. When we come back, we'll show you how to make a blue cheese crust that will add flavor and style to any dish. Are you hungry? Well, it's Friday, and if you're ready for some steak, we have Ruth Chris Steakhouse here. This is Jeff Blair. He's a regional chef with the restaurant, and he's brought all these beautiful cuts of meat. And uh, we're going to talk about how to cook them, but first, let's go through the individual cuts. What are these? Well, right, I'm going to start off right here with everybody's favorite is uh, the filet mignon mm -hmm. and the petite filet mignon. We have okay. two different sizes. We have a 12-ounce and an 8-ounce filet. Uh, and what I want to... Uh, point out is obviously the, the marbling that runs through all of our steaks. Mm -hmm. This is what separates us from most of our competitors is the, the prime is the, the ribbons of marbling that run through all of our steaks. Mm -hmm. And uh, the New York Strip, a lot of mistakes that people buy when they go to the stores, they see this nice lean steak, and mm -hmm. but they don't see the marbling that runs through it, and then they get it home and they put it on the grill and it shrivels all up in the yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's tough. <laughs> I've done so, that before. Uh, but, you know, Ruth's favorite steak was a New York Strip, uh, which this is a very lean uh, piece of meat. Uh -huh. It's got a lot of flavor in it. It's a little firmer than most of our steaks. Do you uh, ever recommend when you get a thick one like that at the supermarket, slicing it this way? No. Oh, no. you want to leave it thick. Uh, again, the secret is thick steaks, okay. high heat, mm -hmm. and then slow it down. So you want to put it on the grill on high heat and then maybe put it up on the top of the grill mm -hmm. and slow it down a little bit. Okay. All right. But uh, the other thing I want to point out is I have two of the same steaks. This is a, a ribeye, mm -hmm. right? And then this is a chuck end and a loin end. Mm -hmm. And the difference of the chuck end, you see the eye, mm -hmm. you got a lot more fat on this one. Mm -hmm. And then this is a loin end, all right? This, this is the beginning of the, of the, of the ribeye loin, and mm -hmm. then this is the end of the ribeye loin. Okay. The very next piece of steak that's cut is a New York strip. Oh. So this one has a lot more flavor in it, but this one is a lot more leaner. Right, so, so if you're watching your diet and you want, you know, you're exactly. going to dinner, maybe this one. Exactly. And you can order any of these on the menu. Any of these, yep. And you could top them off. Uh, like I said, we have our blue cheese crust that is uh, probably the most famous that we have on our toppings. Mm -hmm. It's got a little uh, roasted garlic and uh, some cream, some Japanese breadcrumbs. Uh, and then you can put a poivre sauce on it. Uh, we have cherry peppers. You can well, do it. While you're talking about that crust, I want to put, if we can put the recipe up on the screen, or at least where you can get it. And it, it is so simple, and the instructions are up there. Uh, blue cheese crust is at, it's at kcra.com. Okay, keep going. You were starting to say something about okay. this. So anyhow, uh, what I like to do is, is uh, show our sizzle. One of Ruth's uh, big things with the sizzle on our plate was is to put the steak on the plate, and then we hit it with the butter and the parsley for the flavors, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then the side items. So people, you know, there's nothing worse than a side item, your mashed potato, your broccoli getting cold. Right. So we put it on there, and then, you know, you can add your uh, side items to the plate. Okay. okay. So anyhow, we get the... And this is our cowboy ribeye. All right, this is and a bone. Does, does one human being finish that? Yeah, this is 24 <laughs> ounces. You see the sizzle. All right, wow. and this is again. This is what separates us is uh, is that high heat. Uh huh. The the sizzle going on it. We're going to dab it with a little bit of just as this is just regular butter. It's just you steak know, butter. You you have a nice crowd behind you because they can smell it. All right, and then hit a little bit of parsley. All right. And then we would put this on a tray and and, and serve it to the guest. Mm-hmm. Right. Very right. nice. Have you ever had a female order that steak and finish it? I don't think so. But you know what? We <laughs> we love to, uh, you know, we have more to-go to boxes. You know, I spend a ton of money on to-go wear, and uh, uh, we want everybody to take the lunch home the next day. There you go. So the secret before we go, cook it on, cook it on high, high initially to lock in the flavors. Sear the juices in, thick steaks, and then pull up on the top of the grill and let it catch up in the center. And what's the rule of thumb on timing if you were to say cook a New York? Seven, well, seven minutes aside? Yeah, or? I would say for a medium rare on, on, a, on a grill at your house, probably six to seven minutes on both sides and then pull up top and, and, uh, and for another minute or two close the hood and be done well you heard it from the guy that knows how to cook steaks if anyone else doesn't he's definitely the guy that does right. we'll be back in just a minute with more news weather in wall street